Far beneath the sunlit surface of our world lies another realm. It is a place of profound silence and crushing pressure, where light gives way to an eternal inky blackness. This is the deep sea, the largest yet least explored habitat on our planet. Life has adapted in the most extraordinary ways, some generating their own eerie light, others evolving senses far beyond our comprehension. This is a world governed by rules we are only just beginning to understand, a frontier not of space but of depth holding secrets that have eluded humanity for millennia. The colossal squid, Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni, does not simply live in the deep, it is a creature born of it. Its home is the frigid, turbulent waters of the Southern Ocean. From around 300 meters down to over 2,000 meters, Batial, the twilight zone, the abyss. For decades, our only proof came from remains in sperm whale stomachs, indigestible parrot-like beaks a carcass washed ashore, or a fleeting ghostly image captured by a deep-sea camera. It lives almost entirely beyond our reach, haunting the deepest, coldest waters of the Southern Ocean. Yet a few specimens preserved and studied give us tantalizing glimpses of this phantom. This makes the colossal squid one of the most elusive large animals on Earth. The name colossal is not an exaggeration. This squid is a true titan. Estimates suggest it can reach lengths of up to 14 meters and weigh as much as 750 kilograms, the weight of a large bull. Its mantle, a torpedo-shaped body, houses complex organs and powerful jet propulsion, a creature built for power rather than speed. It has the largest eyes of any animal on the planet, each as large as a dinner plate. These forward-facing orbs capture the faintest glimmers of bioluminescent light, giving binocular vision and deadly distance judgment. Eight arms, two longer tentacles, all lined with suckers. But unlike Architeuthis, these are armed with sharp, swiveling hooks. Some are three-pronged and wickedly curved. The powerful razor-sharp beak can slice through flesh and bone with ease. Its esophagus runs through its donut-shaped brain. Food must be pulped finely to avoid catastrophic damage a rather precarious way to have a meal. For centuries, sailors have told stories of monstrous, many-armed creatures rising from the depths to drag ships and their crews down. Tales spoke of a beast so vast it could be mistaken for an island. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from sperm whales, their bodies bearing circular scars and punctures. These are the battle wounds left by powerful suckers and hooks. In 2003 and again in 2007, fishing vessels in the Ross Sea hauled up large specimens, giving scientists rare opportunities to study them. One famous specimen, a female later housed at Te Papa, was preserved and examined in detail. Modern captures bridge the gap between ancient legend and science. The monsters of old revealed as flesh and bone, a modern kraken, photographed, studied and still profoundly awe-inspiring. Our understanding of the colossal squid has been a slow, painstaking process, like assembling a jigsaw with most pieces missing. For decades, knowledge came mostly from beaks pulled from whales and a few tentacle fragments. The capture and careful preservation of intact specimens in the 21st century revolutionized our knowledge. Statolith growth rings allow age estimates. Dissections revealed small gills and a slow metabolism. These traits fit a sit-and-wait predator, drifting motionless to conserve energy and ambush prey like Patagonian toothfish. Genetic analysis places it as the sole member of its genus, an ancient, unique lineage, and yet every answer opens new questions. How do they find mates? What is their range? The science remains a detective story. The primary reason the colossal squid remains a mystery is the sheer inaccessibility of its habitat. Hurricane force winds, mountainous waves and drifting sea ice make research perilous and expensive. Even if you reach the depths, absolute darkness, freezing temperatures and crushing pressure await. Satellite tagging, a staple for whales, is impossible for an animal never needing to surface. ROVs and AUVs are slow, their bright lights can blind or frighten creatures adapted to dim bioluminescence. We are searching for a creature of darkness using tools of light often with the effect of sending it away. When a squid dies, its buoyant body may briefly reach the surface, then be scavenged, decompose, or sink before discovery. Every specimen found is a stroke of luck. 
Its world seems perfectly designed to keep it hidden from our prying eyes. Life for a colossal squid is a slow, patient game played out in the crushing dark. It likely hangs motionless, using enormous eyes to detect the faint bioluminescent flickers of approaching prey. When a target comes within range, it would launch a devastatingly fast attack. Swiveling hooks embed and secure prey. The arms then wrap tightly, pulling the victim toward the beak. The beak slices and the food is pulped, necessary because the esophagus passes through the brain. Primary prey likely includes Patagonian toothfish and smaller squid species. Its only significant predator is the sperm whale, leading to titanic struggles marked on whale skin. A life and death struggle, an evolutionary arms race that has shaped both species. Of all the mysteries, its reproductive life is perhaps the most profound. How do these solitary giants find each other? The most famous female was filled with thousands of translucent eggs, suggesting high fecundity. The male possesses a penis, rare among squids, hinting at a different mating strategy. He must transfer spermatophores, whether by specialized arm or direct implantation, we simply do not know. Females may release vast gelatinous egg masses, offering some protection to developing embryos. From a tiny speck to a half-ton titan, their early life remains one of nature's greatest blanks. The colossal squid straddles the line between science and myth, our planet's real-life kraken. We keep looking, with better submarines, more sensitive cameras and cleverer sensor arrays. The deep ocean is Earth's inner space, a frontier promising discoveries as profound as the stars. Many mysteries remain, the legend grows, and our quest must go on.